I'm sure there's already a mod for it, but I have a feeling that one day they're going to make it so you can just click one place on a belt to upgrade the entire belt, and that's going to be such a good day, chat. It's going to be such a good day. One day. I think all this is five, because we built this after we got five, so. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is all five? All five. Perfect. So let's take a look here <laughs> and let's see how this is doing now. So this is gonna be a remarkably larger influx of bauxite, like almost three times. I'm actually a little concerned that we may need an additional car. We always plan to, to have more cars, but yeah, unfortunately to, to see if this is gonna work how we need it, we just kinda gotta let it sit and letting it sit is gonna be like a 15 minute thing, so. Uh, let's do this for now. We're gonna wait just a minute. And we're gonna bring over some stacks of these to at least keep it running while we're doing all this other stuff. Already suggested two years ago to put in hub big red button mark two and they still didn't do it. A big, a, what, do, what do you mean, Lord? One sec. <laughs> Sorry. I, uh, I sent a tweet to Ben Starr, and I was like, hey, Ben, that was probably one of the best hosting gigs I've seen for that FGS mobile show, more of that. And his response was, thank you. I'm available for weddings and any other festive occasions. Great. I'll be pinging you shortly for some voice work. <laughs> okay, awesome. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to have him I, instead of my phone ringing, I want to have Ben Star to show up on my phone and be like, "Hey, hey, down here. Press my buttons. Press my buttons. I need your attention." I want my phone to say that in Ben Star's voice every time I get a call. Uh, okay, let's take all this over. I'm sure he'd be totally upfront and thrilled to do that, I'm sure. Emberville trailer, there we go. Sorry. All right, this guy's just gonna go right through this time. Cool. All right, let's go back. Imagine him saying, ring, ring, grab me. <laughs> oh man, too good. Okay. Is there anything I need to do here before we go back? Um, oh, we got more power things to pick up. Nice. Okay, let's go. I'm very interested to see how much bauxite this train brings back. Hydration is required. Mm -mm. Also, thank you, Amelia. I am out. Sad, sad face. I like the old base the best. Oh, this one over here? Think so? I've become very partial to this one. Mm-hmm. 
Does Kodo about duplicating shard outputs using sloops? I do. That's actually what I'm doing right back there. My jetpack's out of fuel? Nah. Didn't you manipulate the amount because you took out some bauxite? I sure did. Which is why we're gonna have to wait yet another time for it to work. Derp. Derp a derp derp. That's okay though. Alrighty. Let's get dangerous. All right, so right now we have this here producing about a bajillion different iron ingots, which is great. So we have a huge influx of iron ingots here that we can use to draw out and do with whatever we please, really, at the end of the day. So what we need to do is figure out how we want to make... We'll start with the rotors. So we need to decide how we want to make these rotors. I think we're going to make them... I think we'll do them right over here. I kind of want to move this. Um, actually, no, because it's using the beams really well. This is one of those situations where I really wish I had a copy-paste. I would love to just copy all of this and just, like, paste it, like, right there. Um, hey, great, Boatman. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, one sec. Blah! I must go back to the dentist. Blah! Okay. So, we need to decide, um, how we want to do these. Let's do the, let's do this, uh, what does the rotor take? We can do the rotor with, oh, that's right. We're gonna do the steel. So with the steel and the, now I need to decide if I wanna do it over here or over on this side. We're making a bajillion copper for the wire, which is great, but um, do I wanna truck the steel pipes over here or do I wanna pipe the copper over here? We actually already have the copper kind of flowing here, don't we? Totally doing this. We're gonna do it right here. This is happening, Chad. Oh, this is so happening. Okay. Oh my god, the amount of happening right now. One second. Um all this needs to go. We're gonna do this here because we're gonna use this area that's down there. And by doing this now, we're gonna basically just alleviate a lot of potential pressure that we would have by having to deal with this where it was. Co might have forgot to set up smart splitters for staters. I'm not sure. Uh, well, oh, actually we would need to do that. Let me, let me go verify that. That's a good call. Because the staters are coming in from the other base. We don't necessarily... Well, we don't need them to get sorted, but we do want that storage to be full. Because if that storage isn't full, then it's going to split the output to fill it. And we do want the dimensional storage full of it as well. So You can zoop poles. 
do that in a minute, thank you. Oh, we're doing all right. Okay, it's working. Thank you, though. Always good. Always good to double check. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. nicer. Okay. So, uh, the nice thing about this also is that the way this is currently set up is this is all very malleable in terms of how we do it. So, we can set up more of these producers. In fact, we're going to. Um, right here. Let's see. Uh, okay. so let's figure out how much and of what kind we want to do here. So let's kind of trace this back a little bit. We're going to start at the top and work our way down. Right now, the goal is not only to make sure we are expanding properly, but also that we're kind of covering all our bases in terms of what we are producing. So we're doing alternate motors, the rigor motor. So we're going to need 3.57 times three. Okay. That's the goal. If we can get that output, that's the goal. And it looks like that for both of them. So just a solid little 11.25. Okay. The oscillator we're fine with. We don't need to worry about the oscillator. We're, we should be doing that here just fine. We're producing one per minute. Well, actually, shoot. One thing that I am doing right now is I am having all of these, I'm making three of these per type, but I don't know if I need three per type. So like maybe you only need two things making motors. It, it all depends on like the stuff that the motors are going into. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna shoot for like 12 plus with these for now and see what we can do. All your base R belong to us? Yes. Have you done the uh, shard mul multiplication trick? That's true, we can also use somber stones. And do what we need to with that. Yeah, if we need to. Okay. I don't know what you're to, but you're gone. So let's take a look here. Your output is five per minute. So we're gonna want three of these going at least. We're gonna start with three. And that'll cover all three of those top ones.
Stater's 5 as well. Okay. So what we're going to do now is this is going to be just a, <clears throat> a Stater rotor set at 15 a piece output with no overclocking. And what's nice about this is we can just go ahead and extrapolate this out multiple times if we need to. So that may be what we do if we need to do it. But now we need to make sure that we have enough of everything else to actually make this run, which is going to be a separate thing. Um, we're going to pull all this back because it doesn't need to be this far out. Funny enough, I just brought this out like two seconds ago. And now I'm like, nope. Um, okay. We're gonna go even further back with this so we can really open up what we wanna do here. Great. Much better. Okay, now are these steel pipes being used for anything currently? Oh, are these all backwards? I don't wanna talk about it. I don't, I don't wanna talk about it. We're not going to do it with a blueprint because we're doing a little bit of a cozier connection here. I'm so good at this game, chat. I don't, e I don't even know why I play anything else at this point. I, I should just be a satisfactory streamer forever. <clears throat> I know exactly what I'm doing at all times, and no one can tell me otherwise. <clears throat> what did he just do wrong? He just completely... I, you know what the best part was? While that was going on, I'm sitting there going, you know, it's a good thing I never have to do this again. The game told me otherwise, that's right. It, it absolutely did. The game said no, no, no. Ooh. Okay. Beautiful. So, first step. 10 steel pipes per minute. Fifteen steel pipes per minute. Okay, so let's do them one at a time. Hmm. We're definitely going to want to use the steel, I guess. Kind of like this, but... Yeah. Alright, so it's outputting 20 per minute. That's perfect. So... Total, we're going to need 
Uh, let's see. Ten times three plus fifteen times three. Seventy-five. Easy peasy. Sort of. We can underclock one, or we can have more. Maybe I should have more. What do you think? Hmm. I must have more. That's right. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe we should just, maybe we should just go ahead and play it safe and do more. We'll do four of each. That way we'll have a nice little uh, glut going on there. No, no, I wanted to do them that way, chap. I wanted to do it the wrong way. I wanted to. Yeah, what now? Didn't see that coming, did you? Let's do it. Okay, we can we can make that work. We can actually, you know. Yeah, those pipes are just going right into storage, so we can we can actually change how we're gonna do this. Okay. So we just gotta have our pipe storage on that right side there. The only thing is, though, is I don't know if I want all of this making pipes all the time. Hmm. You know what? We're going to do it live. We're going to do it live. We can always come back and change stuff out later. Yeah, we can do that. And then we can just turn them off and on as we need them, which is also super handy. What we're gonna do here, I'm gonna make sure this is gonna work first. Oh, we're not gonna have enough room. I need to bump it up one. If we do like that, yeah, let's move it up. Let's move it up. We could we could make this work, but I would rather not. I'd rather not. Uh, let's see. How close do we want them to be, though? We'll do a dry run real quick. That's too close. I feel like that's too far. Um, maybe like half? Probably like there. Okay. That looks better.
There we go. Super quick, super quick. Uh, okay. So... Let's move you down to... Let's see about there. Actually, mm, Okay. I want it to be like there. There we go. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Perfect. Okay. Why am I not getting the little like, uh, oh, there it is. Okay. The spin on the builder tool is so unnecessary, but cool. What do you mean? Hey, Panda. Shouldn't that be wire you're bringing over, not copper ingots? Oh, I think you're right. Yeah, I think you're right. I think, but we, we, what we could do though is we could bring over the copper ingots and make the wire. But we could also just make the wire and bring that over. And we do have a lot more room over here. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure how I want to do this. You need lots of wire? Okay. So one thing though is we are making some wire out of caterium. That's how we're restocking our, our lines. And I'm kind of wondering like, hmm, let's go take a look at that real quick. Let's take a look. I'm pretty sure you can zoop the big buildings, can you? That's cool. Oh, this is all, is this, no, here, yeah, here goes our main wire, here. I'm pretty sure this is producing way more wire than we need. Which means we could do a pass through from here. Hmm. We should probably do this. Let's give this a try real quick. So here's what we're going to do. Now it's going to have to go through two floors. But we can do that. Let's figure out exactly where we want to do this.
Is wire coming out of the storage already? No, no, not right now. So we do have an abundance of copper ingots, but if we do this, then we can use them for something else, which is more than okay. We've got lots of other stuff we can make copper. So we'll save our giant copper stuff for now. What I'd like to do here is let's take a look at this. Oh, nope. 